most wanted. The most controversial Need for Speed game in the whole series without a doubt. A few months ago we got some information regarding, you know, the development of Most Wanted, um, talked about, you know, uh, Criterion's original vision with the game, but obviously by the seams of things they've run out of time. So their original plan of making a, literally a Most Wanted 2 didn't come to fruition, but I want us to kind of talk about why that doesn't matter. Not only that, but I kind of want to talk about what my main problems are with Most Wanted as I'm very different to a lot of people. So first I'm going to talk about why it doesn't matter. Two years is plenty of time. Black Box made some of the greatest video games in the space of a year each. So they probably had less than a year to develop the games. So for, for me, when people say that time is an issue, I struggle to believe that. Now people throw around the argument that games are harder to make nowadays, but I don't really believe that either, because surely as times progressed and as games have got more complex, so have the things that, that, that developers use to make them. You know, like the tools they, they use to make games surely have got more complicated as well. So I don't really buy into that. I know a lot of people say that, and I obviously can't speak, you know, as a developer from a developer standpoint, but surely if the games are getting more complex, the tools to make those games are also getting more complex. When you are making a roadmap for a game, you should know when the development is going to hit this point and that point. So for them to come round and say, oh, we didn't have enough time, but we planned all this and we've made all this, but like it's not happening. Don't quite believe it. And it also doesn't change the fact that this was a trash game. Now, this is why I don't like Most Wanted. If I go up to a jump, and I want to do a flat spin, like Burnout Paradise, because this is pretty much a weird incest baby of Need for Speed and Burnout. If I want to go up to a jump and do a flat spin, it won't let me. However, on the other side of things, if I want to go ahead and do a race without taking down anyone, well, it won't let me either. So what is it going to be? Like, is, is it a burnout game? Is it a need for speed game? It's like it's confused and this is the age-old conversation which many people have had You know previously and many people have had before um, and yeah, I completely understand the game is good The game is like on a base level is a great game, but it's within the context It's in a it's called most wanted so that by itself It's like you're taking the holy grail of racing games on this like it's different if needs to be 2015 was called underground 3 a lot of people would have very different opinions and rightfully so it doesn't deserve the most wanted name and whether that's their reimagining or whether their reimagining was originally going to be you know this most wanted um 2.5 which we've seen in all the concepts and stuff that have been leaked doesn't really matter to be honest end of the day it's still kind of like this weird alien baby which is half half most wanted in need for speed and half burnout. Billboards, off-roading, takedowns, crash cams, all things which aren't really need for speedy. Now I've got the utmost respect for Criterion. Burnout series was one of the my, one of my most favourite racing game series of all time. Hop Shoot 2010 was a game that I thoroughly enjoyed and I still think to this day it's one of the most polished and well-made modern need for speed games. So I'm not one to sit here and trash Criterion. Um, I like Criterion, I like their work. But the physics in a city area and the way the map was made and in just the, the feeling of the game and I don't care, I love it, has no space in a most wanted game. It was just awful. The weirdest thing about this conversation is it's very 50-50. Now, like I said, I really enjoyed Hop Shoot 2010, one of my favourite more recent Need for Speed games. It's one of those games that has very has a lot of replay value. Obviously, it was only closed circuit, but even with that being said, it was phenomenal. A great car list, it fit the Hop Shoot theme, and I think it did Hop Shoot justice. I can't say the same for Most Wanted. I don't think this did Most Wanted justice. I remember watching this at E3 and thinking, oh, customization? Uh, story again? Like, all this is going to be happening, you know? Uh, it's, it's basically going to be undercover but fixed. It was far from undercover but fixed. And I think I'm speaking for a lot of people when I say, you know, when we were little, and I, I, I was quite out of the loop when this came it came to market. Um, I wasn't really following racing games as hard, and it grabbed my attention. I remember at the time, Machinima were giving a lot of copies out to YouTubers to promote on their channels, and they were giving it to everyone. And I remember seeing it and thinking, well, this isn't most wanted. As a guy who, you, you know, really enjoys racing games and haven't played racing games in a while, and, you know, they take my favourite racing game of all time, or one of my, mo my most favourite racing games of all time, and they do this to it, 
You can understand why I was a bit disheartened. I didn't actually buy it till a few years afterwards when the PS Vita came out and it was on the PS Vita. That was my first time playing the game. It was actually really fun playing it on the go and stuff. And as an on-the-go game, as a mobile game, it's kind of fun. But when you come back and realise there's no progression, no story, no customization, no... There's nothing really. Then add to that all the DLC practices, it's just a, a mess for me and it's something which I rather forget than talk about. I played a fair bit of this game. I played a lot of this game actually. Um, and it's just more disappointing than anything else that it was a missed opportunity and you know we've seen all of the prototypes and stuff of what they were planning to do um, and it's cool and it's, it's it's nice to see but it doesn't justify the fact that this game was still shit. How this game got a 9 out of 10 but payback in 2015 haven't even got over a 7 from IGN and GameSpot. Uh, that just baffles my mind. There was a few good ideas. First off, the game looks gorgeous and you can't argue that. I was playing it today for all this gameplay and it still looks phenomenal. Some of the modes as well, actually. Um, the speed trap mode, I forgot that was in there. Don't know why that's not in modern day games at all. You know, speed trap, I've mentioned this before, lap knock, I'm not sure if it was in this game. But there's a lot of modes I would suggest for Ghost to put in future games and even other developers like uh, Turn 10 and Playground Games, etc. And the one redeeming factor for, uh, for this game um, over any recent Need for Speed game is the police. It's definitely not the worst Need for Speed game. Um, I think Rivals is definitely worse. I think yeah, there's a handful I could probably mention which are worse. But it was extremely mediocre, borderline shit. I'm harsh on this game because it carries a very, very important name to me. One which um, it changed, it honestly has changed my life. If it wasn't for Most Wanted in 2005 and playing that as a kid, would I be making videos today? Probably not. And if YouTube does become a career for me, which hopefully it does, you can see why that's so heavy. Let's not ever talk about this ever again. I've said everything I need to say. Maybe again. Maybe like once more. Anyway, that's all I really have to say. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, playing older games, talking about older games, let me know down in the comment section down below. I was going to do a Midnight Club video today, but I couldn't find my PS2 adapter for my Elgato, so... Well, that didn't happen. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. That's been it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you ahead and hit the like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe and peace.